I'll talk about it. So part two, part two of this video is discussing, I talked before about, uh, I've referenced this dance with the written word. I call it this dance with the written word because it feels like this, this back and forth, like this ebb and flow. Um, when I was younger, like I think second, third, fourth grade, I used to like write little stories and poems and things and I would give them to the teacher and ask them to either read it to the class at the end of the day or if I could read it to the class. And that's hilarious to me now because that bold and brazen little girl, she got lost along the way and I became this like very timid, very shy, very closed off person as I got older. But when I was like young, young, I would be like, yes, can we read this to the class? And I would like leave, <laughs> I would like write letters in code and leave them on my teacher's desk and be like please read this to the class to see if they can figure out the mystery like I, I was a very weird child but I, I love that stuff I love playing around with words I loved writing and um yeah I think part of me I think part of me being withdrawn in later years I think part of the collateral damage of of that was I, I stopped writing or I stopped being as expressive in my writing and I definitely stopped sharing my writing with other people um and I and I started to believe the lie that I wasn't creative and I think it also has something to do with like <laughs> like wanting acceptance from people and feeling like what if people didn't like it or what if they thought it was stupid or whatever you know like just all these dumb thoughts that that I, I let keep me from doing something that I just genuinely enjoyed and um I really gotta tell like I I have to give all credit to my church family because I think it was like two or three years ago we were um a bunch of people who I would describe as as creative were putting on a play at our church and I was just there like hanging out if they needed help or just hanging out trying to get a ride home or just hanging out to hang out and I and I had an idea for something and <laughs> Onaje who was, was was over the over the play he was like okay well you write it and at first in this at first he was like you write it and we'll have somebody else do it and I was like okay cool and I think I had like a couple days to do it and I was like, oh man, I felt the pressure. Like, this has to be good. And I wrote it. And he was like, actually, you're gonna, you're gonna do it. Which, so now I'm not just writing it. Now I have to like be on stage in front of people. And I have not done that in years. Like, it had been years. And um, it didn't go over so great. I basically freaked out. <laughs> and then, like, I freaked out in practice and then the night of y'all I went into the whole thing and forgot to turn my mic on when I tell you there are some moments I wish I could just take back that was one of those moments by far not my most embarrassing moment but it was it was not a great one and after that I was like I'm good should have stayed in the seats should have tried to do anything out you know that was Robin get back in the box go back to just doing the other things on the side don't try and put yourself out there like that's silly you know lesson learned I I really thank God because I had a, a few people who without knowing my thoughts about my own like writing or creativity or whatever would just like say these these very encouraging things there was this woman I used to work with um who also goes to my church and she had me proofread something I didn't think much of it and then weeks later I was like you know you're a pretty good writer and then told other people that and I'm like oh, okay I didn't think anything of it again and then um I I worked on a couple other projects and uh and it was really fun and I enjoyed it and um I, yeah it was just I one thing I take away from that is encouragement goes a long way I think about that you know I think about how do I encourage 
gifts or passions or things in my future children but also how do I encourage that in my friends how do I encourage it in my future husband how do I encourage it in my parents in my siblings like in anybody I meet how do I encourage them to not be bogged down by fear or to not be bogged down by what the 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 the, the, the deception that they believe about themselves sometimes and just say no go for it like why not like explore all of who God made you every facet don't leave any stone un unturned um I'm just really grateful like there have just been kind of like to me it would seem like random times where somebody would just encourage my writing or something that I wrote and they'd be like hey that was really good and I'm like oh like it just or they would say like I think you should do more writing or I think you know like and it always I'll be like Lord I just I it just was very encouraging to me because as someone who didn't think of themselves as creative for so long to have my creativity encouraged it meant so much you know and um i had a friend who <laughs> i was really struggling with something uh in in this season of life and she was like you know what i think you're gonna write a book on that one day and to me it seemed so amazing the fact that not only did she have the faith in the fact that God was taking me through that journey for a purpose and that freedom was on the other side for me and that I was going to have a testimony to share, but also that I was going to be able to write about it and like, and it was going to be good, you know, like, just like, so when I do write that book, it's dedicated to her because that, that one simple comment really just encouraged me to like, why not, you know, like. Who says we have to be stuck in the same situations or yeah you know like who says we have to limit ourselves and box ourselves in and assume that God can't use us in these different ways so I get excited I have like notebooks of ideas and random index cards and things that I, I write on like like all these cards different ideas I just write stuff down as they come I need to organize them all into one notebook and get moving on some of these things so I'm really excited. You'll probably hear some more announcements. I would say in the next month or so. Yeah, I would say in the next month or so. You'll probably get some more announcements about that whole process um, or some things I'm working on that I get to share with you. Um, but yeah, so I encourage you guys if there are passions, and especially I would say think back to when you were younger, like before you had. Um, those inhibitions before you had fears before people's opinions meant so much to you when you were like a child and you could just do things like what did you want to do what what excited you what did you do that you didn't have to be told like I used to love English class and grammar I loved learning the rules about grammar and sentence structure and how to write a letter and all those different things like I thought they were great and it it, it didn't I didn't think much of it you know but it was fun for me and it still is fun for me um but yeah, anyway, I would encourage you to just think back on those things. Like, what are some things that maybe you just dis discarded or kind of just like, like, whatever. I think back on even like um, baking. I used to think I was going to be a baker. And somewhere along the way, I was like, maybe not. Like, I don't know if I really want to do that. And I've been getting back into it ever since I did that video um, that I posted a while back. I think like in December-ish, November. Um baking cookies with my roommate and I realized how much I love it how much I miss cooking for people how much I, I miss like preparing food and like sharing it with people and finding different recipes and just having fun with it like I just love that um so yeah just I'm excited I'm excited about the season of my life and what God is doing and humbled that he loves me enough to be active in my life like He's not a distant or absentee father. He is present and near and intimate and consistent. And I love that. I love that. He's just the best. He's the best. He's the best. He's the absolute best. So anyway, this uh, that's that. I don't have anything else to say to you guys tonight. It is February 11th. Tomorrow is February 12th, <laughs> which holds significance for me, but maybe not for anybody else. Most people are probably looking forward to Sunday, but, um, yeah. All right, you guys. Have a good day.